You guys wanted us to film a fucking <laughs> Q&A, so we're going to. Okay, I'll set it. What were they doing with the jump rope? <laughs> Kate is a workout freak and wanted us to try her routine and we couldn't. It was yeah, a double on there. The next one is, what's the weirdest thing you guys have done in front of each other? Just watch both of them poo. I've seen <laughs> Megan have sex. <laughs> What's y'all's favorite place to eat? Texas foods. Roadhouse. I like ice cream. UDF. Know. They probably don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a gas station that has ice cream. <laughs> Chilies. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Waffles. Pancakes. Of course. Fave <laughs> body part. Well, my favorite body part is like a booty. I love Are we trying to be inappropriate booties. or not? Abs, pecs. I like, like arms and shoulders. Like butt. Or lips. You do. You like butts a lot. Uh, How do you keep a relationship strong when you're long distance? I think communication is like the number one thing that's important in distance because it's all you have. Do you like Dexter and what is your favorite TV show? I've never seen Dexter. I have never no. seen it. Vampire Diaries. Oh, okay. Diaries. I just watched Prison Break and I really liked it. Danny, 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 told oh, Danny told me that. My favorite TV shows are 30 Rock, <laughs> Bob's you. Burgers, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Parks and Rec, <clears throat> Workaholics. <laughs> If you um, where's your favorite place to visit? Mexico. A lot. I went twice last year. And it was uh, fun. Ireland. Ireland California. Too. What is your goal you wish to accomplish during 2015? Getting out of my house. Uh, getting on the path to getting really close to finishing school. Getting a hot goal. Yeah. Boyfriend. Dating, yeah, exactly. Would What would you say is your dream vacation spot and why? Greece. I really want to go to Greece because it's fucking beautiful. California again. <laughs> again. Like, <laughs> Megan doesn't see past Ohio, so California is like another country. Italy and Greece. Greece is I want to go to Italy for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the beauty. Just for the, the pizza. pizza. The, your absolute favorite hobby. Yoga. I love yoga. I like it. I want my best friends. I'd say the only hobby that I have is CrossFit, and I like it. And I like it. Do you have any hidden talents? I can solve a Rubik's Cube. And I can moonwalk. Those are my only two you, talents. <laughs> I have a video of her moonwalking. I'll wait for someone to request that one day. What's your hidden talent? I don't have a hidden talent. Yeah, you... Sometimes he can be nice. That's <laughs> uh, I can gleek. You taught me how to gleek. <laughs> we can gleek. <laughs> Megan's gleeks are like fountains. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say the <laughs> oddest thing you've ever done? No. I plead the fifth. A uh, dude. <laughs> is Adam going to be your sperm donor? <laughs> no. What is your favorite? Oh, what is your favorite moment with Sarah? Well, I met Sarah once, so that okay. time. One time, this is so fucking cheesy, but it was like the first weekend we ever met, and things like we were still like getting used to each other and being near each other because it was still like very awkward and like whatever. And she was driving behind me, and I was driving ahead of her, and we were outside, and I blew a kiss out the window, and she caught it, and it was fuck. That was when I was like, hey, I fucking love this girl. Like, wow. The moment is when. Sarah made Kate chicken with flaming hot Cheetos. And <gasps> yeah, I loved that, really that cool. moment. <laughs> one time we all went camping. And that was really fucking fun. And one time Sarah, we had sleepovers for two nights. This is ten minutes long. Oh, though. living in your house was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Do you take the labels off water bottles or not? I do. I, I peel them off my beers and shit. It gives me OCD with them when they're missing. Uh, they, uh, my parents buy cheap ones and they fall off sometimes. If you guys yeah. could go anywhere in the world, where would you? We go? all go together. Denver? Yeah, we're trying Jamaica? to find hotels. Yeah, yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica. Um, do you like coffee? No. Yeah, yeah. I just had a cup. Um, you were an element on the periodic table. What would you be and why? Gold. Megan, fuck you. No. Gold is AU, I want to say. Yeah, AU, girl. You look like gold. <laughs> I'm potassium. Why? Because it's K. I be what would you do if Sarah cheated on you, but let's make it? What would you do any of your significant others? I feel like for me personally, that ruins... The relationship but i don't think she ever would i've always wanted to slash someone's tires so that's what i would probably adam do. just wants an excuse to slash someone's tires so i've been <laughs> cheated on and i beat him up <laughs> I, yeah i literally picked her she up and she had bloody knuckles is having same-sex friends different since you realized you were gay <laughs> no yeah i mean none of my fr i mean like very few of my friends have been weird about it thankfully so no it hasn't been weird because i've never looked at them in a sexual way, it's always been like other people. How do you do your makeup? You should do a makeup tutorial. No, I'm not gonna do that. But I literally just put it on my face. I, she didn't even wear makeup to work the other day. I no never wear makeup to work. <laughs> on the wall, who's the gayest of them all? <laughs> Say a funny memory between you all. All these nights. 
Yeah, we literally yeah. just... Nights like this. Um, how did you all meet? Eight. Yeah, I met Megan at Chili's. And I met Adam through Kate. So. But me yeah. and Kate became friends off Twitter. That's how we, that's how we started <laughs> Adam was obsessed out. with me. They're both social media whores, so... Megan's just pissed because she doesn't have over 200 followers on anything. <laughs> Oh. Did you go through a denial stage before coming out as gay, and how did you get through it? I had moments, like, growing up where I was like, I'm gay. And then I'd be like, holy shit, no, you're not. Like, you can't be gay, because I was very, I was in church all the time, and I was, like, a cheerleader and shit, and it just, like, didn't fit my life. And so, like, I definitely denied it to myself, even though I feel like I knew. I figured out I was gay. I came home, and I was, like, telling Megan, and I was like, I... I like this girl, but it's, like, just this girl. Like, I don't like girls. I'll never be able to hook up with a girl. No. And then I liked other girls. Oh. Well, how'd you get through it? I have really good support system. And that's literally how I got through it. Um, how did you know you were gay? I always had, like, a really strong connection with girls, and I would... I think in some of my friendships, I liked the girls a little bit too much. Like, I, like, really cared about our friendship, or, like, I cared about them in a different way, and I knew it was different, but, like, I never wanted to recognize it as liking them sexually. And then... I went to Mexico and made out with this girl who happened to be gay, and I remember just, like, in my head being like, fuck, the fuck, like, I was, like, I remember just stepping back and being like, holy shit, that was different than any other kiss I've ever had, like, all I thought about was her, and I was, like, obsessed, and it was, even Megan was like, you've never liked someone like this, like, you've been dating your boyfriend for a year and a half, and you don't care about him like this, I started talking to more girls, but then I realized I was gay, you miss being with guys, absolutely fucking not, how do you know Sarah's the one, I just fucking know. How do you handle your parents not accepting you? It's hard, but I, like I said, I have a good support system that helps me regardless. What would you say some of your biggest pet peeves are? Liars and bad friends and shitty people. I don't really like when people touch me. <laughs> when people touch my food. Okay, thanks for watching. This is <laughs> Megan and Adam. None of you are going to watch this far, so it doesn't really matter. Nobody. <laughs>